So we are at this no man's land, I think it's called, the survival uh, gameplay that, or map that you can download. And I see a lot of people making playthroughs of and stuff like that. I just want to show you guys and girls and aliens how far I've come within like 112, 13 ish hours. So you get what I'm saying here. But let's take a look at my uh, no man's land farm. So here is the mods that I'm using. And you can just pause and uh, do your thing. This one here, I don't really use GPS. It's really bad compared to other versions of uh, farming sim. So, yeah. So, this is my farmhouse. And if you go in here, you can see... I bought this big mahemoth here. It's not that big, it's just something I like. So, let's go down and get something to drive in so we can go around fast so i don't know why but i do like old tractors so i have my little like display of some of them here and this is my some of my first shit you know first places where i have uh, equipment this is some of the equipment that i have here have a little flatbed here have a cell point uh, these cell points here I used to have two but uh, this one here, when I get more cell points, not real cell points, like um, farmhouses and stuff like that, it will be uh, deleted. My good old, what is it called? Lime, I think it is. It's going to be put over here because I want to upgrade some equipment. This used to be my fertilizer and seed place when I only had this field here. You might as well just walk around. Oh, this my little doggy doggy. Hello. There you go, buddy. And let's feed him up. Some weights. It used to be my old house place there. I have like an ele electrical charge. I don't really use it. I used to have electrical tracks. It would be a fucking sucking ass. A little unimog. But I used to use this to drive around. We might as well so we might as well just do that right now. We'll take this here. So... We have, of course, some um, water supply. This is the one that comes with the map. My f mobile fuel station. Some greenhouses. And the greenhouses are massively overpowered. If you want to make money really, 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 really fast, get some greenhouses and get these from the, from the um, No Man's Land mod. And get some water transportation because you can make a lot of money in no time. They, they are the highest producer of money that I have is these greenhouses here. Uh, supply shop. Our supply shop repair shop. Here I used to have another selling point for my beehive over there. So I built the beehive there. I sold that and built some... Um, silos i think it is well it is silos to have fertilizer and seed this is my newest field i couldn't remember that it was called a field <laughs> that's so fucking stupid and then we have a crane mill also a good source of money i should have bought that way before and then we have a biomass plant of what they're called over here not that well done, or not well done, well used, sadly enough. Here we have basically a farm shop. Again, I recommend getting this as fast as possible. Because you sometimes get more money out of it. Well, I have noticed that if you look at the map here. Oh, this still, the selling point down here in, in the where the uh, shop is and stuff, that's still... Most of the time, actually, give you like more money from everything you have. But just for a little bit of RP and stuff that you re really, really want to build, you know, more buildings and whatnot. So let's uh, let's try back here. Yoink. So I bought this little um, sawmill, or what it's called, over here. I rarely used it. I think there's still some in it. Yeah, that's all there is in it. Yeah, I used to use it somewhat, but it, it, it's nice to have when you have to take down trees and stuff like that for, um, you know, making areas to put uh, plop things down into. 
beehives mm, they are easy passive money if you have like a forklift or front loader attachment to a tractor or rear loader stuff like that however you need a lot of beehives i actually really don't use this it needs to be empty I, and i rarely do that anymore because you don't get that much money from it again the greenhouses over there are by far the best well, let's try back here Whoop. come on little thingy so yeah you can see here this is the first field we get i got a little it made a little expansion to it another thing that would make your expansion really really easy when you're expanding uh, fields if you can get it over here i still need to clean up a lot of stuff so get one of these skid steers here and get this attachment here yeah this one here the mulcher because it will make uh, fields for you just as a plow does and it takes down tree stumps and stuff like that in the process so it's just way 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 more convenient to do it that way but it is expensive but you can lease it if you want to i, I never leased anything i bought and sold and bought and bought a little actually i got these sets over here first whoops Look these uh, mofos over here first this is the first one i got then i got that one and this one came later just to basically have my tractors i may have more of these around the field my idea is to get a tractor for each equipment that i have because i i hate going into a tractor and disconnecting it or disattaching it and disattaching it and blah blah, blah. i just want to jump from tractor to tractor this one is also kind of new i hold that for my harvester and just random equipment I'll just put in there if I'm going to use it a lot. I used to dump grass in there when I've cut it up. Or ha um, so I could take it up with like my uh, front load and then put it down to the sheep so over there. Again, grass and silage is way better than just doing uh, grain and stuff like that. And I think it takes two months, two cycles for it to grow up so you can harvest it. Again, cut it up, pick it up, throw it out. It's just way easier to do. Another thing that I found really, really easy to make money on is these good old chickens. They produce a lot of eggs. They are really, really high selling price and they are not that expensive to buy. And you need like one little field with the weed on it. I think that the starting field could easily support this chick coop. And then I have some side say. So I forgot to say that this field here and the one over there that we looked at, they are all barley now. There used to be wheat along with this one up there and this one now they are barley because barley grow faster than wheat so that means that you get more money faster or at least that's what i think it is i'm not like an expert in this fucking shit so this one here was my grass field because i made that for the uh, sheep that we go down and look at now this one is a grass field also again more grass you can make more silage you can get more money Let's drive over here. This is a manual, so it's a little bit slow to get uh, started with. Add a little shed in here, where I also have grass, cut grass in there. This is my wheat field. This is what was my second field that I made. I made it in two health, and then I expanded it to what it is right now. But this is where I do all my sided. So I have a little uncompressed on uh, grass over here that I basically pick up with my... Um, is it called a front load? What is it called? Tail handlers. There you go. And and basically feed the sheep with the, the I got the sheep before I got the um, the chickens, and they are not really worth it if you if you ask me. Or I don't know how they work. They produce wool, but if you don't have like a spinnery and stuff like that where you can make clothes, it's really not that. Like I, like I said before, chickens are way better, and uh, it takes less wheat than grass to support the chickens over the sheeps but if you do side it's grass makes sense and i did that in the beginning right do you have a problem driving you idiot so yeah i had a small sided pit in another area of the map and I, if you do grass and side it's that's way better for you go away so down here i have a stone crusher again not using it that much because the equipment that i use right now is auto cultivating and plowing so there's no much, not much stone coming up but when you're making fields you need to plow get stones so you can get a little bit of money out of it that way 
And if you want again to cheat a little bit, <laughs> easy mode have passive income. So I have like a solar ray here, and they are again not massively expensive. So if you can plop a lot of those down and have a lot of greenhouses, all you have to do is just get water. Still to this day, I get most of my money from the fucking greenhouses. They are massively overpowered. They use a shit ton of water though. A lot of water, the uh, no man's lands uh, greenhouses. Let's drive up and sell this shit up here. Could you get way further and have way more money than I have? Of course, if you didn't do a lot of the mistakes that I do, I'm a stupid man. I do a lot of mistakes, but that's also part of doing this game, is that you try stuff out. You figure out what works for you. You may not like that the greenhouse aspect of it. You may not like to have chickens. You may just want to be, you know, just do fields and fields and fields and fields. Yeah, that, that's up to, with, with my passive, not passive income, but with my greenhouses, passive incomes and stuff like that, I think I make close to 40, 50k every time I go to sleep. Just from that. You can make a shit ton of money in a year. Just by greenhouses. So a little bit of passive income. It's really, really fast. We can go up and we can go to sleep here. And we can see how much money that I'm actually making overnight. So I have like... 147,590. A little doggy dog. Yoink. I'm saving up for the biggest fence tractor I can get. And you don't need to own a lot of land. My next goal is to own every land on the on the map. So let's close this one here. And of course I had paid off the loan. Pay off the loan as fast as possible. So let's sleep. So we went from 140, 7,000 to 190. That's not bad. Oh, let's get into the tractor here. Oh, not tractor, the uh, Udemog. But yeah, it, it's uh, it's not difficult to make money. But anyway, this is like 113 hours into No Man's Land. See you all later. Bye-bye.